What's today? Today's Tuesday. No, not the day. What's today? What are we working on today? We're working on chesties with the bestie. It's chest day. Um, usually what I like to do before chest, I like to warm up. And when most of you guys think of warming up, you guys think of stretch. Let's go do, pull your arms back and then get a nice stretch going on. Sit up, touch my toes, I'm gonna go do this and that. Uh, that is not what I like to do when I stretch. Stretching for me is more uh, jumping jacks. You wanna do high knees, you wanna do something like that. It's more of something to get the blood flowing and actually get you ready for what you're gonna do. If you go in cold, you grab a rubber band and you pull the rubber band, what's gonna happen if you pull a cold rubber band? Most likely it's gonna snap. So if you go and you warm it up and you have a nice elastic rubber band, what's gonna happen? It's gonna stretch more. So as far as I've been taught and everything that I know, that's the best way to do it. Uh, stretch after, warm up first, get the blood flowing through your muscles. So a couple of good warm ups that you guys can do. Uh, one, high knees definitely. So just run, keep jumping, get a few taps in. Uh, do that for maybe 30 seconds, then you can go to push ups. Uh, for push ups, what I like to do is go hands just about at my chest. Uh, after I do that, when I go down, I don't go out, I go in. So kind of kind of like when you're benching, you want to tuck your elbows in. So down and then up. Do about eight reps of those and you'll get a nice, nice warm up. You'll get a good pump, you'll get a good feel. Uh, some people don't feel a pump right away on that, but it's all right, you're just warming up. This isn't the actual exercise. Another good warm up you guys can do is uh, grab a tent or something, something light that you can handle. And uh, this is gonna be sort of like a, a chest fly something like that so what you're gonna want to do stand to your side and when you're going up sort of tilt it to the side like you're scooping something you're gonna keep your shoulder in the same spot when you go up you're just gonna scoop 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 and that's gonna work both on your chest and your shoulders so you can get to the real weights. After that one, I wanna show you guys one last one. Uh, grab, like I said, the last one was a 10. Grab a, a 10 or something that you can warm up with. Don't go heavy, because this is just warming up to get to the other weights. If you want, you can do the same exercise, but with a heavier weight. So you're gonna to wanna to grab it, shoulders down, shoulder blades pinched together with your chest puffed out. That's almost the same, that's the posture you're gonna want for almost every workout, because form is everything. So grab it, chest out, and lift up. Turn to the side, turn to the side, and drop it down. That again is gonna work your chest out, work your uh, front delts. Excuse me if I said that wrong, or named them wrong, but it's a great workout for chest. That's all you guys need for a decent warm up. Or if you want, you can do something like that four different times, 30 second breaks in between for a nice hit workout. Maybe add a little extra things to it, but that's good. So I'm all warmed up now and he's all warmed up. So we're gonna go upstairs now and we're gonna hit the actual weights. I'll see you guys up there. Uh, one thing that when I first started lifting, I wish I knew was uh, back form. So what you want to do is, come in front of me right here. What you guys want to do is drop your shoulders and then pinch your shoulder blades together so that your chest is always going to be puffing up. So shoulders drop, pinch together. Uh, warming up, grab a comfortable weight for you guys. I'm 
grabbing these just to warm up for you guys. Uh, what you want to do is keep your back arched while you're doing this. So as soon as you're on the bench, keep your back arched and then keep that form. Most people, or some people at least, I've noticed when they're when they're new at the gym. I used to do it. That's how I injured my shoulder the first time. Uh, when they're benching, some people roll their shoulders forward with the bench. So rather than doing that, try to keep it still. The only thing you want moving is your arm. It's going to activate your chest a lot more, and you're not going to be using more of your uh, your shoulders. Which, if you are, you're going to feel the burn right there a lot. right here but it's basically the same form for upper chest and lower chest and then maybe next time I'll get some more flies for you guys but my camera's gonna die I don't have two I'll see you guys in the next video that was a pretty good workout uh, I wish I had more battery to show you guys some more uh, exercises for chest but this was just a tips video so if you guys actually enjoyed this and you guys want to see more of that let me know down in the comments or something uh, I'm definitely down to do something like that to help you guys out if you need it. Uh, I wish I had more battery again, but as of now, this is the end of this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Tell me this shirt doesn't make me look a little buffer. Oh. I'm telling you guys, I'm feeling better every day.